back from Caring Medical Center. I'm so happy to welcome our next guest back to the show, Dr. Ross Hauser, a prolotherapist at Caring Medical Center. Good morning. morning welcome Carly. back. Thanks for having We're me. We're talking this morning about stem cell therapy, in particular with knee arthritis, but stem cell therapy I know can be used kind of anywhere. But when you hear the term stem cell, it was interesting. We were chatting. This really is kind of the, the wave of the future, you think? Yeah, there's more and more doctors doing mm -hmm. various kinds of stem cells therapy. We actually use it to get rid of chronic pain, Carly. Stem cells are cells in the body that replenish other cells, like even as we sit here. You're talking about your own stem cells. Yeah, your own stem cells. So in other words, like right now, you and I, were flaking off skin. So stem cells will have to come to our skin mm -hmm. to make new skin cells. So we use stem cells to help meniscuses repair, mm -hmm. cartilage repair, labrum repair or ligaments repair. Sometimes the body has a limited ability to repair itself. So we can get your stem cells, Carly, from your blood, from your bone marrow or your fat. And we do it in our Chicagoland office and our Fort Myers office. Yeah, because with prolotherapy, there's a couple different ways you can do prolotherapy, all non-surgical though, correct? Right, yeah. Prolotherapy, as you know, is an injection mm -hmm. technique that stimulates healing, basically. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I mean, pain isn't an ibuprofen deficiency. And there are times, <laughs> you know, there are times that you need surgery. Mm -hmm. And we have a diagnostic criterion where we can tell whether somebody who has bone-on-bone -bone mm -hmm. arthritis of the knee or the hip, whether or not they're going to respond good to prolotherapy or they need surgery. There are times where I'll or my staff mm -hmm. will recommend surgery. But if you have relatively good range of motion of your knee, the bad knee compared mm -hmm. to the good knee, or you have relatively good range of motion uh, of the bad hip mm -hmm. versus the good hip, even if there's bone-on-bone -bone arthritis, you're normally going to respond good to stem cell prolotherapy. How many treatments do people normally, you know, typically take if they are battling arthritis? I mean, what have you seen yeah. kind of in your practice? Yeah, and we've published data, mm -hmm. so if people go to our website, caringmedical.com, uh, there's mm -hmm. various articles that I've written uh, mm -hmm. on stem cell prolotherapy, but basically it's about four visits for okay. a good candidate. So in other words, we put the stem cells from your fat mm -hmm. or your bone marrow, we put them into your hip or your knee. Then you, the stem cells hopefully will change into like meniscus cells mm -hmm. or cartilage cells because stem cells change into the cell type that you need. So if this, this knee was bone on bone and it needed cartilage mm -hmm. cells, those stem cells could form cartilage cells. Hmm. So that's like amazing. Yeah. It? So it takes like a couple of months. So we normally see about every two or three months. And then, so it's about a yeah. year process, right? If you have bone on bone arthritis to get you feeling really good, uh -huh. I mean, it's reasonable right. for us to say, yeah, yeah, yeah. hey, Carly, it's going to take, well, you know. And I love that you're honest about that. Well, and I think just a stem cell is such a buzzword. I think arthritis is too. I think there's so many people dealing with arthritis. So how do you know? Is it that you still have pretty good range of motion? I mean, what's the best, you know, what's kind of a, a blank way to say you might be a good candidate if you're battling well, arthritis? Well, there's a lot of information on our website, yeah. but obviously I would say, you know, come to the right, office and right. have us assess you. Dr. Special and I have in the Fort Myers mm -hmm. area, you know, we work in our clinic there, but uh, we both have over 20 years experience. Mm -hmm. So, you know, after 20 years of doing this, we know like whether or not you're going to respond yeah. or not. So I love that. I love that you are big about educating the public as well. You want people to be informed. And uh, again, if somebody is facing surgery here, they think, you know, in, in this uh, next new year, get a second opinion. See what other options are out there. See if you might be a candidate for yeah. prolotherapy. Yeah, or else go and come to one of our talks. Mm -hmm. We give talks around the community. So go to our website again, caringmedical.com or our Facebook page, Caring mm -hmm. Medical Facebook page, and it'll have all of our talks yeah. that we give. And that way, you know, we can meet you. I could examine mm -hmm. you there and just tell you right away whether or not you're a good candidate and or Facebook, not. I think, a great way to talk to other people who've had it and it's worked for them and uh, word of mouth is, is pretty powerful. So no, and I know you, you've, brought, you've brought some uh, people on, even on our show that we love to hear their success stories. So, Dr. Hauser, thank you so much for being here this morning. We always love when you're here. We look forward to having you back. Thanks, Carly. Thanks. We, of course, will put more info on our website as well, foxformorningblend.com. It's 2016. Small changes can make a big impact. Up next, how this can be the year of the new you that you've always dreamed of. That's after the break.